Ten days in the elements, rain, wind, and cold challenged a group of bike riders who arrived in Madison today. Their goal, of course, was to finish the ride, but they have a bigger goal, saving lives. Tahlil Mohadeen met with them as they crossed the finish line. Tahlil? Each rider is responsible for raising at least $2,500, but they tell me that's actually the easy part. 700 miles on a bike is a relatively minor accomplishment when you consider what the riders have been through. Some are survivors and you're like, oh my goodness, you survived a transplant and you're riding a bike. Marsha Crone was one of 10 riders who finished their trek in Madison today, raising money and awareness for bone marrow and stem cell care. I just decided I was going to keep trudging through that wind and the rain and the cold. In 2016, Crone was diagnosed with myelofibrosis. The cure is a stem cell transplant, but no one in her family was a match. My transplant doctor said I had a less than 1% chance of finding a donor. UW Health doctor Natalie Callender says patients only have a one in four chance of finding a match in their own families. So the need for transplant donors is high. It's very easy to sign up to be a donor. It's a cheek swab. That's all you need to do. She also says that need is especially high among people of color. It's a fact not lost on Bob Falkenberg, who beat leukemia 13 years ago. I had 13 perfect matches on the registry. Um, that's because I'm white and of European descent. There's a lot more donors on the registry that are white and of European descent. It's one of the reasons he started the bike tour more than a decade ago. This year, other riders joined him for the first time. There's a lot of us out here that are doing things like this, and uh, you can get your life back afterwards. This ride may be over, but it's giving patients like Marsha a reason to hope as she continues on a much longer journey. When Bob asked me if I wanted to go on this ride, I thought, boy, I don't know if I can do it, but I would like the challenge, and I did it. <laughs> Riders across five bike tours raised about $125,000. That's three times more than last year's totals. Be the Match is already finalizing plans for next year's bike tours. They expect to double those earnings.